Hello, this is the Alligator, the non-binary gamer, and this is a monster's expedition through puzzling exhibitions. This is a brand new game, and I'd love to thank the uh, developers of the game for sending me uh, this game so I could totally have a little play with it and review it for you right now. Uh, I have been playing this game quite a bit. This came out, you know, a couple of days ago, but we're going to start a new game. Um, I'm going to play, you know, this is a puzzle game and obviously I don't want to spoil too much. I'm going to play till you get the title screen on the screen. <laughs> so we've got movement. Um, that can be either the directional keys or the WASD. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then we run over to this tree and we push it over. We don't usually uh, like deforestation on this chat. Uh, like, I don't like deforestation as a thing, but this is the game mechanic. Uh, so you push over the tree, and then you roll the tree, so you get over to the next island. That's basically the whole game. So as you can see there, we've got undo, reset island, and look around. So if you press shift, you can zoom out a little bit. Have a little look around at what we've uh, what we've seen. Got some lovely music, and these are the exhibitions. So we can read this. A museum for humans, in bracket scale model. Humans preferred their museums to be indoors. This initially seemed baffling to monsters, especially given the amount of dusting we avoid by keeping objects outside. Experts have recently suggested that keeping objects indoor may have been part of England Land's effort to hide and store museum collections of stolen property. <laughs> um, so, so we want to get over to this next side, so it means we basically have to get a log kind of facing that way. Um, and what happens is these logs roll. So if I push this this way, and then push this this way, it rolls. But then, if we push it this way, it stands up on the end. So we can put that just there. Lovely, lovely. So there's these rocks. So obviously, so what happens if you push it the wrong way, is you kind of push it off and it, you know, we did it wrong. So you can press MD. You get this lovely symbol kind of crash. Um, or you can reset the whole entire island. So let's push that to there. Hmm. So, ah, that way. Because what I was thinking is that basically you can't have this like lengthways, like that way. Like it facing from this side to this side. You'll just stand on it and roll like this. Plinth. Human like to put objects on boxes called plinths. At first, monsters experts didn't know why, but then strangers kept thinking the plinths less ex exhibited were lost property and handing them into the help desk. It turns out plinths are very, very important. I added an extra very. <laughs> oh, I've definitely put that the wrong way. That was silly. Undo. So, let's go that way. One a little bit... Um, Fru not necessarily frustrating, but uh, an interesting game mechanic is that when you push over a log like this, you kind of run up it. So that's a whole... you have to kind of remember that. And that comes into play a little bit later. Like, it can become a little bit frustrating. So, yeah, so this is what I'm saying. If I roll it that way, I can't actually step onto that. So if I undo... What I can do is I can actually push this back this way, and then push it that way, and then in you go. Lovely. Lovely. Burp. Certificate of Excellence. Okay, this isn't a human object, but we won a Monsters Travel Award for the museum. Look, there's a trophy to accept, 
we sort of knocked it over and now it's got a bit missing and it's in the menu cupboard at the head office but the certificate is great <laughs> push that over Unk. yeah these are nice simple puzzles to begin with that's all lovely uh, let's push that that way ah so it is nice so right there so if I press undo because if I was coming up from this direction, I'd push it off. But instead, I can stand on it and then push it that way. So there is, you know, method to the madness. It's just a little bit, like, frustrating sometimes when you're like, oh, I just want to push it that way. Well, that's definitely wrong. Silly alligator. Push it that way. No. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. I don't immediately know. Maybe we have to push it that way. Oh, and then we can roll it that way. Push it up. Ah! Then push it that way. Then push it that way. It bounces off the um, thing as well, which is nice. Q here sign. Humans for England land love to queue. We don't exactly know why, but expert monitors speculate that standing outside for long periods of time is why these humans developed such a close interest in what the weather was doing. <laughs> Ooh, jab at the English. England land. So these are fun. <laughs> so that's me zoomed out, by the way. It goes all the way up here, <laughs> pushing all the way to the edges of the map. It's a pretty big space! <laughs> uh, in my, my playthrough, which I haven't been doing, I'm all the way down here somewhere. <laughs> this thing is fun. <laughs> so we'll go back here. Um, basically, you can jump between these post boxes. They, like, post you around, which is kind of fun. Um, okay, I'm just going to go this way. La 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 la. Well, that was definitely wrong. What's this? Another thing. Holiday lies. Holidaying. That's definitely a word. Holidaying. Humans like to send pictures that they didn't take to people they don't like, claiming that they wish those other humans were present. And be. Uh, please do not put this exhibit in the monster post. Replica holiday lies are available in the gift shop. I wonder if there is a gift shop. I haven't found it yet. Um, ooh, how do we do this puzzle? Um, ah, I think we have to create a raft. So that's that way, but now I can't get across to there. So we have to create a raft. So we put that there. Run round, put that there. And da, 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 da. I know we made a little raft, and now we can step that way. Yay! Uh, and we can do a very similar thing here. So we push that over there. And we do the same. And it makes a little raft. Lovely. Stan stanchions? Stanchions? I am dyslexic, so stanchions and rope? <laughs> this is another human museum magic trick. If you put little metal poles around the exhibit, visitors will stick, will still get too close and prod it. But if you connect the poles using vert, velvet ropes, an invisible wall pops up and the exhibit is safe. The fourth wall. So I think we have to make a another rafty raft. So um uh, um oh that's definitely not right. That way and then that way and then that way and then that way. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Plaque! Plaque! The most recent human magic trick that monsters experts have discovered is plaques. 
Any information on plaques felt truthier to humans, even if they was just a guess. Researchers are still trying to determine if the same is true for monsters. What I love about this is this little person um, is definitely the same person we saw in A Good Snowman Is Hope To Build. And they also happen to be in Cosmic Express. They, I think they're driving the train. So push that there. Push that there. La la la. And now we've got been able to get over there. So we should be able to like push this bit of wood like this way. Get up into it. Push it that way. And then push it that way, and then push up, push it that way. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is what I first thought, but then when I pushed it, this happened. Hello. There's a lovely little lighthouse there. There we are, and now we're at the titles, and this is a lovely little game. It's not, it's not even little, <laughs> it's quite big, like it is actually huge, like we were, where were we were, well, I can't zoom out that far until I get to one of the post box, but you know, we were all the way up there, and oh, I have to show you this, because it's my favourite, uh, like, museum exhibit. So basically you make these little rafts, and then they go next to these kind of big, big rocks, and then you can use the big rocks to kind of push yourself off. So if we push that that way. And then we push that off. No. Push that that way. Then we roll it that way. And then we can push it that way. And then push it that way. Push it that way. Ah, push it that way. Yeah, this is a lovely little game, and, and uh, later sections uh, you get like bigger trees, like you get a, a two wide tree, and then you get things like that, and oh good gracious, I haven't begun to, um, begun to even explore half of the map, but this is my favourite um, museum exhibit. Human storage rack! <laughs> the hooked prostrations on this wall suggest it's performed a similar function to the familiar human coat rack, but instead of collecting coats it allowed users to store multiple humans without them getting crumpled or wrinkled. <laughs> that made me probably laugh when I first read that. Obviously it's like a bouldering wall for like climbing, but it's just like, of course monsters wouldn't be able to know what it was. <laughs> that one's also fun, but I'll I'll leave that one for you to find the the pink flamingo. They're they're great. Um, so this has been a little look at this wonderful game. Um, thank you, Alan Hazelden and the uh, the team for sending me this game and working so very hard on it. I, um, like three and a half years in the development of this game, and it really really shows. Like it's so lovely. It's so it's so intrinsic and so like no one told me that I needed to push like things over and and things like that. It just it's so natural. You know. It's so wonderful. So we'll leave it there. So um I think this game is actually um even though it's just come out, like it came out the other day, I I believe uh, check in the comments. Um, I believe it's having a 10% sale until the 17th? I'm going to look like a fool if that's wrong, but <laughs> I think it's the 17th. So a couple of days to get that. So buy it now. <laughs> so until next time, guys, gals, and non-barony pals, this is Alligator. So see you later, Alligator, in a while, Crocodile. Laters!